Well, if you're a fan of film reviews, you've no doubt already heard that Roger Ebert has died. Ebert and his sparring partner Gene Siskel could make or break a film with their trademark thumbs up or thumbs down. Ebert was first diagnosed with cancer in 2002 when he endured much surgery and treatment, but he never gave up working. And as Eric Sorensen reports, few critics have been as influential. What a job to have. It's called the Shawshank Redemption. Watch a movie, then critique it. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. We're all movie reviewers, but Roger Ebert and his longtime partner, Gene Siskel, blazed the trail on television. They often agreed it was better when they didn't. That you even wasted the breath on this picture that you did. Oh, it's, it's come got, to the territory, it's, Gene. It's my job. Ebert began as a young reporter, then became the movie reviewer for the Chicago Sun-Times. He and his rival at the Chicago Tribune, Gene Siskel, took their rivalry to TV, and they became as famous as the movies and stars they reviewed. Roger, I think, made his name on being a, an extremely well-informed and intelligent populist. We proudly welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Roger Ebert. Ebert was the first movie reviewer to win a Pulitzer Prize. He and Siskel popularized that simplest of movie critiques, two thumbs up. I think that Gene is the closest I'll ever come to having a brother. But there was also tragedy. Siskel died in 1999, and Ebert lost part of his jaw and his voice to cancer. I was always extroverted. Now I am forced to live more within my mind. When he died today, the stars began to tweet. Jimmy Kimmel said, he was a gifted artist and as nice a guy as you'll ever meet. And filmmaker Michael Moore, Roger Ebert, millions of thumbs up for you. He brought a higher level of film criticism to the mainstream, and I think all of us expect that now. Nobody expects anyone to sort of just offer a plot synopsis, sort of do that whole uh, old-fashioned critique anymore. Ebert once talked about what a great job it was. While others went to work in the morning, he'd be at the theater with a box of popcorn watching a movie. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Washington.